I've been testing out Citavi, Mendeley, and Zotero recently. And here's my complete honest breakdown of these three reference management tools. I'll cover all the main points, from features to usability and considerations. So by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of which tool might be right for your research workflow. Citavi is a comprehensive reference management and knowledge organization tool that combines citation management with note-taking and task planning. It excels at organizing research projects with detailed categorization, advanced search capabilities, and integrated PDF annotation. The software offers robust citation styles and seamless integration with Microsoft Word, making it popular among German-speaking researchers and those who need extensive project management features. Mendeley takes a social approach to reference management, combining citation tools with academic networking features. It offers automatic PDF metadata extraction, collaborative research groups, and a large database of academic papers. Users appreciate its clean interface, free cloud storage, and the ability to discover new research through its recommendation system and social features. Zotero is an open source reference manager that emphasizes simplicity and reliability. It provides excellent web browser integration for capturing citations, robust group collaboration features, and extensive plugin support. The platform excels at handling diverse source types from web pages to archival materials, making it particularly popular among historians and social scientists. In terms of functionality, Citavi offers the most comprehensive project management tools, but is Windows only and expensive. Mendeley provides good social features and automatic organization, but has limited customization options. Zotero delivers reliable core functionality with excellent browser integration, and it's completely free, though it lacks some advanced features. However, Citavi's platform limitation and cost can be barriers. Mendeley's ownership by Elsevier raises data privacy concerns for some users, and Zotero's interface may feel dated compared to modern alternatives. Each serves different research styles and institutional needs. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you found this comparison helpful. And if you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up to help support the channel. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button.